Welcome to the family. Let me give you a little bit of Christmas background. Four years ago, I was here at the Boa household and um, we had a very wonderful Santa. It was like this tall, it was like my height, it was pretty funny. It was one of those karaoke Santas that you got to talk into it, it was really cool. It like did a whole dance, it was awesome, it looked realistic and all. That year, I broke it. I think we were putting it away and like I just messed up the leg so it has this kind of like really weird limp kind of deal. This year, I'm gonna fix it. That, yeah, yes, I'm, I'm inside Santa. I, I didn't sound right at all. However, down there, you see that broken piece? Yeah, that's where, um, that's where I went all caveman on it and totally just broke it. So Santa, he's just, you know, kind of taking it like a man, but I am um, fixing him. We are right. brainstorming yeah. to see what we're gonna do for two, next week three, two, one. before uh, the year ends. Do you guys brainstorm? There's five of us, so therefore we could do two apiece, I guess. Those are crooked candles. There you go, not straight. <laughs> Let's think about this. What was your favorite moment from 2013? I need to look at it. <laughs> One of my favorite moments of this year was when Miles was on that rope that every time I think about it, it just brings a smile to my face is when we were in Disney mm -hmm. and the whole snoring thing and you know, we were <laughs> oh, in the room God, yes. and we were Playlist. just laughing. Playlist was this year, oh, right? God, that was yeah. Every morning. trip I go on, all planes have the probability trip. to crash. Yeah. So do cars. But why would you say did it crash and when you have him on the phone? No, no, he's telling you the plane's gonna crash on the day that he's about to get on a plane in like two hours. Oh, and you I hate flying. Eric hasn't passed. That's the number one cause of plane crash. <laughs> <laughs> how, how did you not die? That's not like you. I crashed last night, guys. Like, no, don't say crash. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> how bad are you gonna feel if it actually does happen? Holy oh, shit. No, don't say that, dude. Okay. Goodbye, world. He's in the room. Don't say you. that. Oh, I'm listening. Wait, what's your theory of what? Of why Wayne hasn't won the lotto yet. Wayne has not won the lotto because he's supposed to win the lotto. Because he plays and he's strategic about it. And he really, really wants it. I think we all believe that he yeah. really can win that lotto. Yes. Right? When you have animosity in your life, in whatever corner it is, for whatever the frick has happened, if you cannot let it go, it affects your energy source. And if your energy source is not pure, you're not attracting that which you know you can't have. I completely agree that negativity is very attractive in the sense that the human race is more pessimistic than it is optimistic. It's That's easier to, it, no, no, it's easier, <laughs> it's easier. <laughs> it's easier to believe something bad is gonna happen than instead of believing that something is good is gonna happen. It depends on what you program yourself. That's the whole reason that Bowl World is taking on this mission of motivational missionaries around the world. Because a lot of people believe what you believe. You hold on to that negativity and you spread it as much as you can. Misery loves company. People love to talk about their problems. What about talking about the inspirations that we want in our life? What about talking about the good things, the plans, the goals, the love, the appreciation that we have in our lives? That's what's wrong with our world and our society. I want to see you happy. You deserve happiness. I'll make you happy. Give me the cut. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you served our country, you've served our family, and now you need to serve yourself, Wayne. Don't worry. Statistically, planes are safer than cars. Yeah, I said I'd finish yours. Yeah, there's like turbulence. Just wow. look for the nearest <laughs> exit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing? We took it apart. They're going up Santa's pants. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! He looks like he's enjoying it though. I think they're being very naughty. <laughs> oh! oh well, he's just... getting cold this Christmas. <laughs> today is a sad day. Because today, we say goodbye to a family member. One that's been with us for years. We say goodbye to Santa Claus. His, Hi, Santa. his last wave goodbye. This is so sad. So for some of you that may or may not know, Bert absolutely loves Christmas and he loved his Santa and his Santa kind of kicked the bucket today. So we're surprising him with a Santa. So we gotta go cross town to go find it. So are you excited? I am excited. We're in Ikea Walmart. Ikea Walmart. So big, it's got a parking lot like Ikea. I mean, this is the biggest Walmart I have ever seen. This place is huge. It's a teeny tiny little box. I'm thinking 12 feet. I'm thinking it's taller than me. That's tiny. We want to surprise Bert. We have to. 
Alright, so then. Alright, so I'll call you right before we're there to make sure the coast is clear. Sidetrack him or let us know, and then I'll go talk to him or something while you build the Santa real quick or inflate him or whatever. Alright, call me. I'll get what I need you. Alright, cool. Bye. Santa's on his way. <laughs> Hello? This is the Santa mission in the corner. Where are you? I'll be outside right now. Alright, we're, we're two minutes away. Sitting over in uh, the patio stuff, doing these motivational moments. So, I said, can I talk to you when you're d done with it? Okay, in go. Away. go. Keep going. Please. So, we're trying to do this like super quick, so he doesn't know. Right now, he's doing his motivational moment. Here comes Santa Claus. He's made such a big deal about this 12 foot Santa for so many years. And I kept telling him, throw away the Santa. He's like, no, I love Santa. I'm like, just throw away this freaking Santa. He's like, no, I'm not throwing away the Santa. He's still got a couple of years in him. But this year, he died. Santa officially died at 6 p.m. today. And this one's being born at 9 p.m. He's how Bert wanted him. The other guy was really hurt, man. Yeah, he wanted him. <laughs> <laughs> check him out. Check him out. He's dead. Maybe he needs to be plugged in. Oh, he's rising. The man is rising. How do you guys fix it? This is not him. <laughs> His gloves are different. <laughs> How'd you get him? He's erect. Santa Claus is real. <laughs> How'd you get him? He's identical. It's Christmas time. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, that's awesome. That's your Christmas gift, honey. Hell yeah. You couldn't be without your Santa. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I looked for him online and found him, and Valerie and I just went to go get him. Where? We went to the North Pole. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm Bert Oliva from Bold Worlds. Welcome to the family show. And what I. What? Yeah, it's kind of difficult when you talk to yourself. So what I want you to do is I want you to comment, subscribe, forward, repost, do whatever it is that you're going to do to make sure no one misses this show. But do it now. Do, do, what are you waiting for? Do it now. Now.